Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Ch Chaudhary needs to leave. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Kumar, for joining us. Your first reaction, sir. A little bit surprised that uh, 25 basis point rate cut did not happen, but uh, I always maintain that uh, it is very difficult to read the mind of the central bankers. So uh, no rate cuts, and uh, I'm sure that decision would have been based on certain data facts and the trends in the uh, economy. Mr. Kumar, uh, how is how are you going to deal with this? Because you know, all bankers were expecting a 25% basis point, uh, basis, uh, basis point cut or a 50 basis point cut. And perhaps they were looking forward to it at a time when credit growth has dropped, your cost has gone up marginally because of demonetization, you're flush with funds, you're having to pay interest on these deposits. Um, how does it affect your strategy at the moment? So one important step on announcement which has been made is that incremental CRR requirement, so that has been withdrawn from 10th of December. So that gives some elbow room to the bank for uh, uh, bringing down MCLR and whenever ELCO meets, we will analyze all the data, the cost aspects and take a decision about like how much uh, uh, MCLR can be uh, reduced. So uh, the uh, deposit rate on the bulk side, one crore and above, we had cut quite aggressively. So on the deposit side, there is no problem as of now. The CASA ratio has gone up. Of course, uh, it's not going to be on a permanent basis because as the currency in circulation, it goes up, the, uh, there will be an outflow of funds from the current and savings account. But uh, for the time being, whatever benefit is available to the bank, uh, we will try that we pass it on to the borrowers. Last time I'd spoken to you, I'd asked you how much of the cash that's coming in, which is demonetized, no longer legal tender, are you being able to push into the RBI's vault? Uh, you said that there was a certain amount of cash still lying. Has that process become better now? Yes, definitely there is an improvement and every day there is a remittance of uh, uh, what we call SBNs, specified bank notes to Reserve Bank of India. And uh, uh, a fairly good amount has now been sent to Reserve Bank of India. Is, is that, the, is that uh, what you're satisfied with at the moment? I mean, is there a percentage that you could give us that about, about the amount of cash lying with you which has been demonetized, those SBNs, how much has already gone into the Reserve Bank's vaults? So, no, basically uh, what it does is that uh, it creates a space for me in our currency chess. Because all the SBNs, they have to be kept in the currency chess. And uh, when there was a, uh, on the, from 9, 10th, 11, 12th, when there was no uh, possibility of sending this to RBI, then we were feeling choked. But uh, even if uh, we send uh, three, four thousand crore every day to Reserve Bank of India, so it creates that much of a space for us in managing the cash logistics. So uh, about 15% uh, would have already gone to Reserve Bank of India. All right. Uh, one more question that I had for you is that has the rate of deposits now dropped a little bit or is it still going on at the same rate? No, now there is a, some sort of a stability in the accretion of deposits in savings bank and current account because uh, the payments and the deposit which is flowing in of SBN more or less uh, they are at uh, equilibrium now. So there is no uh, growth in current and savings account for the last two, three days. Okay, you're saying that the withdrawal level and the total amount coming in is the same? Yeah. But is that because I was reading uh, a piece by, the, you know, where one of your interviews from last year, I think, where you were saying that the biggest demand actually comes towards the end of the last three, four days of the month and then the first five, six days of the month because that's the time when salaries are either paid out or taken out 
from the bank. That's the biggest cash demand period. Is that also, is the withdrawal also like that simply because this is the salary period? Right. Uh, but uh, I think uh, now uh, in next uh, two to three days, the number of payment transactions are also expected to come down. We have already started seeing some downward trend on the payment transactions. And uh, the rush seems to be over, but there are still some locations where uh, there is still queues and which you show on the television channel. But uh, there are a large number of branches which are functioning uh, normally. Normally. All right. Because uh, I guess the queues are also because of the salary payday kind of situation that people wanted to take out money ahead of the payday. I was actually at a branch itself where I had to stand in a queue for a long time. But um, the overall, what is your sense that how soon do you think that things will normalize? So basically, there is still some demand supply mismatch. And uh, you would have heard uh, RBI Deputy Governor that they are trying to augment the supply of the various denomination of nodes. And uh, apart from that, uh, we are seeing a good spike in the transactions on the POS or debit card spend, so which has gone up by almost uh, uh, 2.75 times. So uh, I think gradually the normalcy will be restored. And uh, as the gap between the demand and supply uh, keeps on narrowing down, uh, whether it is on account of uh, fresh currency coming from the Bank of India or as well as migration to the digital channels, uh, there is a lot of enthusiasm, I can say, uh, even amongst our staff to promote the digital channels. And uh, we are doing currently both the things, managing the queues as well as promoting the alternate payment options. And uh, once uh, you enroll someone and they start doing the transactions, after that, uh, it is very easy. It is only the initial hesitation yeah. and the process of onboarding where uh, there are uh, some education is required. Yeah. And uh, in this country, even if uh, there are 200 million smartphones or 250 million smartphones, at least for those people, if they download the wallets, uh, whether it is a state bank, buddy or any other wallet, and they start using it in a big way, yeah. To that extent, at least for this group of people, mm -hmm. the requirement of currency as a medium of uh, exchange can come down. Mm -hmm. And there is a very genuine effort going on that how to make uh, the transactions easier for the people who use feature phone. But I agree that uh, initially some education will be required. Mm -hmm. And it is a job being done by the staff, but there is a lot of volunteers mm -hmm. uh, or voluntary effort also which is coming in. So this is a very, uh, I would say, encouraging sign, but the fact remains thus, we are a very large country and uh, the requirement of cash will still be there. And this transition to digital, uh, it has gained momentum. Earlier, uh, we had to do a lot of push for pushing the uh, digital uh, options, but now there is a lot of demand. So that is a big change. Uh, so, you know, economists, and this is the last question, I know you have to go. Uh, economists are making estimates about how much banks are losing at the moment in terms of business because they are having to simply deal with taking, de taking deposits and paying out money. What is the kind of decline that you have seen in terms of the uh, money-making operations of the bank? So uh, one is, as I said, that uh, like, yes, uh, in November, there was a lot of attention on managing the queues and the currency exchange and uh, the, but uh, at least in a bank like a state bank of India, so not everybody is, uh, you know, managing the crowds or uh, this thing, but there are people uh, who have other jobs to perform. And what we are expecting that uh, in December onwards, we should be able to focus more on the banking activities, which we consider to be, as you have mentioned, mm -hmm. that more profitable activity and focus will be, of course, apart from promoting the digital channels, the focus will now shift to 
meet the credit requirement and how do banks come out with certain products and certain steps which can be taken to promote the demand for credit uh, whether it is in personal segment or in SME segment or in agriculture segment and we are carrying out a, a comprehensive review of all our products and pricing and uh, you will see a lot of action in the coming days in the uh, market and the initiatives being taken by State Bank of India. All right. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Pleasure talking to you. Thanks a lot.